نعم اذا اكثر ما يكون في بطلان صلاة بعض الناس من يصلي في البنطال خاصة حال السجود وحال الركوع. So therefore, the thing which invalidates the prayer in the major in the majority of cases, or that which is most likely, is when people are praying in trousers or tight trousers, especially when they go down into sujood or when they go down into ruku. عندما تنكشف العورة من من ورائه. When his uh, aura, his private parts, become uncovered from the back. فلابد أن يحتاط قبل أن يدخل في الصلاة ويحتاط عند الركوع وعند السجود وإلا في الصلاة باطل. So a person. So a person must take caution before he enters into the prayer. Make sure that all of his body is covered, and more so when he is going to enter into his sujood or ruku. He knows. That he's wearing the right types of clothing, that his body will be covered. Otherwise, his prayer will not be accepted. If his aura becomes shown, then his body, his prayer is not accepted. الشرط الأخير دخول الوقت فلا يصح أن يصلي قبل الوقت أو يتعمد إخراج الصلاة عن وقتها لا بد أن يصلي الصلاة في وقتها. And then the final condition, the final شرط of the prayer is the entering of the correct time of the prayer. So he can't pray before the entering of the time. And neither can he delay the prayer so that the time has gone. So now this person, if he has fulfilled all of these conditions, he stands up and he establishes the prayer. So a person must fulfill these conditions before he enters into the prayer. So this person now, let's say he has fulfilled all of the conditions. So now this person he has fulfilled the conditions. As you mentioned, he is a Muslim, he has sound intellect, so on and so forth. He has to stand for the prayer. لأن القيام ركن. Because standing for the prayer, the standing, this is a ركن. It is a pillar from the prayer. في صلاة الفريضة. It is a pillar in the prayer, in the obligatory prayers. أما صلاة النافلة يصح أن يصلي جالسا أو على جنب. As for the nawafil, the voluntary prayers, it is permitted for a person to pray while sitting down. فلا بد من القيام في الفريضة. So in the obligatory prayers, a person has to stand and pray. نعم. ويخطئ من يصلي في هذه الأيام على الكراسي هو يقدر على القيام لكن يصلي جالسا الفريضة فالصلاة هنا باطلة إذا كان قادرا على القيام. Those people who pray on chairs whilst they have the ability to stand up, then their prayer is not accepted in the in the fault the the obligatory prayers. ثم من أركان الصلاة تكبيرة الإحرام يعني قول الله أكبر. And also from the pillars from the أركان of the prayer is تكبيرة الإحرام. And what's intended here is a person initiate initiating his prayer by saying الله أكبر. نعم مع رفع اليدين مضمومة الأصابع ويجعل باطن الكفين جهة القبلة محاذاة. الأذنين أو المنكبين. And also a person he raises his hands with his fingers together and his palms are facing the qibla and he raises his hands to the level parallel to the ears or the shoulder. إذا يقول الله أكبر مع رفع اليدين مضمومة الأصابع متجه بباطن الكفين إلى القبلة حذ والأذنين أو المنكبين. So a person he says Allahu Akbar and at the same time he raises his hands with his fingers together, his palms facing the Qibla and he raises them to the level of his ears or his shoulders. So people, they make a mistake when they spread out their fingers or they open up their hands. Or a person, he touches his ears. 
or his palms are facing inwards towards his face. Or a person raises his hands to the level of his head. Or lower down. And then after this, he places the palm of his right hand upon his left wrist. Whilst the fingers are still together. So merely placing the right palm on the left wrist. Or it is also allowed for a person to grab hold of his left wrist. So either he places his hand on his left wrist or he grabs hold of his left wrist. So either whether, which is just placing or holding. And some people they combine between placing and holding at the same time, and this isn't correct. Or a person spreads out his fingers. Or a person he holds his shoulders or places his hands on his on his uh, elbow. Or a person he doesn't place his hands upon his. And a person should place his hands upon his chest but without going overboard, without being too extreme. So those people place their hands near to their necks make a mistake. Or those people place their hands on their heart. Or on their hips. Or those people who place their, hand, uh, their hands upon their stomach, their navel or below the navel. It is recommended for a person who has said Takbiratul Ihram and he has placed his right hand on his left wrist to now say the Dua al Istiftah, which is the opening supplication. And he can say any supplication which has been narrated from the Prophet. Like, for example, he says, and then after saying that supplication or any one of the supplications which have been authentically narrated, he then seeks refuge in Allah. By saying, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. أو بأي نوع من أنواع الاستعاذات الوارد عن النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام. Or any other narrations in which the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sought a different type of refuge. ثم يقول بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. And then after this, he mentions the name of Allah by saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. ثُمَّ لَا بُدْ مِنْ قِرَاءَةِ الْفَاتِحَةِ فَهِيَ رُكُنْ مِنْ أَرْكَانِ الصَّلَاةِ And then a person has to recite Surah Al-Fatiha because it is a pillar, a rukun from the pillars of the prayer. يَقْرَأْهَا كَامِلًا And he has to recite Surah Al-Fatiha in totality, all of it. مُرَتَّبًا In the correct order. بِآيَاتِهَا with all of its ayat and all of its words and all of its letters and vowels its vowels and this has to be done in every single unit of prayer so if a person leaves a single letter from Surah Al-Fatiha then his prayer is not accepted أي اللهم استجب. and then after this, after reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, a person says Amin. and the meaning of Amin is اللهم استجب or Allah accept my accept it. ثم يستحب له أن يقرأ ما تيسر من القرآن يعني آية فأكثر أو سورة. and then after this, it is recommended, highly recommended for a person to recite something from the Quran, whatever is easy from the Quran. Meaning at least an ayah or more than this and a surah if it is possible. And after doing all of this, 
a person makes takbir once more like he did for takbir al ihram but this takbir is now to go into ruku to go into the bowing now yasna kama sana fi takbirat al ihram min qawl allah akbar ma raf al yadayn and he does it in the same manner meaning he says allahu akbar at the same time he raises his hands in the same manner which he has done previously now maghmumat al asabi' باطن الكفين جهة القبلة حذو الأذنين أو حذو المنكبين. أي that a person with his fingers together, his palms facing the qibla, raising his hands to the level of his shoulders or to the level of his ears, parallel to his ears. ثم يركع. and then after this a person makes rukur. he goes into his bowing. نعم. يقبض على ركبتي. بيديه يقبض على ركبتيه مفرجة الأصابع لا مضمومة مفرجة. and when a person is making ruku, then he places his hands onto his knees and he holds onto his knees, and this is done with the fingers being spread out and not together. ويجعل الظهر على استقامة واحدة مع الرأس. and his back should be level to his head. ولا يثني المرفقين. ولا يثني المرفقين. and he does not uh, point or bend his elbows. Meaning he stretches out his arm. Because when a person bends his elbows, then his back will also be lower then will also become lower. So by keeping the hands the arms straight, he ensures that his back is also straight. And he should always be looking. He should always be looking at the place in which he is making sujood. And then whilst he is in his ruku, whilst he is bowing, he should say Subhana Rabbi Ya Azim at least once as an obligation. لا بد أن يقول هذا اللفظ Subhana Rabbi Ya Azim مرة واحدة وجوبا. So he has to say these words Subhana Rabbi Ya Azim at least once as an obligation. ثم يزيد يستحب له أن يزيد بما ورد عن النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام. And then a person can increase more than one or different types. Of remembrances according to that which has been narrated from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Subhana Rabbi al-Azim, or Subhanahu wa Taala, or Rabbi al-Malak wa al-Ruh, or Subhanak Allahumma Rabbana wa bihamdik Allahumma qafli, or Subhana Rabbi al-Azim wa bihamdik, or غير هذا مما ورد عن النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام. So any of these remembrances which have been narrated from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. نعم. ثم الآن. يعني وهو راكع بين الركوع وبين القيام الاعتدال يرفع اليدين مع قول سمع الله لمن حمده فإذا استقام يقول ربنا لك الحمد. So whilst a person is still in the ruku and between him standing up and then fully standing up he says سمع الله لمن حمده and he raises his hands and as soon as he has stood up then he says ربنا لك الحمد. نعم. so firstly when a person stands in the prayer he has to make sure that his feet are level with his shoulders. So a person should stand like he would normally stand, so his body is firm. And a person ensures that his Feet are pointing straight, either outside of his feet and not the inside. So look how the feet are now equal or level with the body and the shoulders. Some people they make a mistake by making their feet 
placing the feet too close together. Or by making them too wide, too spacious. Or a person's feet are pointing inwards or on outwards. So a person should make sure his feet are pointing uh, straight uh, towards the Qibla and this is by looking at the outside of the feet and not the inside.